In this video I am going to be testing out the Beauty Bay bits that I hauled in the most recent video, so stay tuned. my channel my name is Amy and in today's video like I said I'm going to be trying on the products that I hauled in my Beauty Bay um, haul that I did recently I will link that video up in the iCards up here and I'll also if I remember do it put it down in the description as well but if not always check the iCards as there's always videos that I recommend up in there um, today wasn't of what I was going to film today because um, I forgot what I'm saying then <laughs> basically I was going to film this video um, uh, obviously you guys won't see this until the end of February because that's when this video is actually planned to go out um, and it's currently um, the 10th of January <laughs> I am literally pre-filming everything it's great that I can pre-film things that I get all ready for you guys and it's up and ready um, but yeah um, I, I wasn't going to film this wasn't the video I was going to do I was going to do my film my declutters um, today but <laughs> I was watching YouTube this morning and I saw Steph Tom's video. If you don't know who Steph Tom's is, I did mention her in my recent YouTubers that I love video. And um, she's absolutely amazing, and she does some amazing reviews. And she is very real. You know what I mean? She's very real. She'll tell you exactly how she feels, which is what what I love about her channel. And basically, I was watching her video reviewing. She just basically did a full face of um, Beauty Bay, which is what I originally was going to plan, but I haven't quite got everything yet. I've got not got lip products or anything like that. But if you do want to see me test out more Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay products, don't forget to smash that like and let me know down in the comments. Um, so yeah, and I saw her video and she tested out these, I don't know if these are the actual shades that she used, um, but she tested these out, which is the bronzer, highlighter and blush. And honestly, it looked amazing. They looked stunning. And I was just like, I need to film these. They can't just keep sitting there for any longer. I need to film them. So that's what we're going to do today. I haven't even like got my face ready yet. <laughs> I'm literally bare skinned. All I've got is a bit of um, my lip conditioner that I've got in my project pan. Um, which is like this the Man Mana Beauty Simplify the Lip Lock Priming Lip Wand. I'm, I don't see much benefit in it. It's just like a tinted like lip balm in a way. That's how I sort of see it. It gives a nice tint to the lips. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do my base, and then we're gonna test these out. So but I am gonna show you what I've got first. This is the blusher in the shade Peachy, and this is what it looks like. Um, this is the bronzer in the shade Fawn, which looks like this, and I've got the highlighter in the shade Glaze. Which, looking at it, I might have should have gone for the more goldy colour because she used like the golden colour. Because this is more like a peach, not like a peachy, pinky, goldy sort of. Depending on what angle you have it at, it can be like gold or. So I'm literally not. I'm not using any lights or anything. I'm literally using my um, just window with the normal lighting and having it like that. Wow. And then do it that way. It looks pink. But yeah, that's this one. And the palette I'm going to be using isn't the same palette that she used in her video. It's the Beauty Bay 20 Colour Book of Magic. And I did ask you guys in that video what colour scheme you'd like me to go with today. And you guys went with blue, so I'm going to be using these blue shades here. can't even say. These blue shades here. Look, you can literally use so many different eye looks. You can do a neutral look with all these. You could do a blue, purple, orange. So yeah, I can even do green. Like there's like a green section here. So yeah, if you guys want me to do a different eye look with this palette, comment down the color you would like to do next. Yeah, comment down below the the color that you would like, like color scheme you would like me to work on next. As I am more than happy to try this out. But today you guys have asked for blue. So we'll be doing a blue look with this. So if you guys want to see my review on this palette, 
and the and the bronzer blusher and highlighters then stay tuned also don't forget to hit the like and comment down below again if you'd like me to do a full face of um, beauty bay and what color scheme you want me to go for next with this palette so yeah and also don't forget to subscribe for some more content and i forgot to say welcome to february hope you liked my intro and um, by the time like i said by the time you actually see this video it's going to be like the end of the month so yeah, you'd have already seen my intro already my hair is not playing ball with me today <laughs> But yeah, let's um, pop a headband on. This is the one from Glossy Box. I'm gonna be popping on my head today, and let's get straight into it. I'm gonna do my base, and I'll be back with you to do the rest. Right, I'm back, and I've done my base. I'm pretty happy with how my base has turned. Not my face is not my base face <laughs> has turned out, apart from this spot here. This literally only came in today, and it's just, like not welcome. It's not welcome with my face whatsoever. Um, so yeah. And there's nothing I can do to hide it either. I've literally tried concealer, foundation, powder, everything. It's just not going away. I might have to put like a spot eating on it later to try and suck up, suck it all up. But I really have impressed at how my base has turned out. I've only used my Maybelline, my Maybelline Dream Matte Liquid Foundation, which I'm nearly out of. Literally, it's down to like here, which is probably the first ever foundation I've ever finished fully and to be fair although it's in my project pan I am going to rebuy it because it's really nice the only reason why I'm, it's in my project pan is because um, so the shade I think is just a bit too orange for me I think mm, what, maybe if I use a brightening powder it's not too bad but it's just a bit orange um, and the fact I've had it for a while so I want to just get rid of it and buy a new one but yeah <laughs> I also use the um, I Heart Revolution um, Heartbreaker concealer. I used to hate this when it first came out. I was not a fan, but now it actually hydrates my under eyes and it's not as creasy as most concealers. Like obviously, it's not the best coverage at all. It's a very light coverage, um, and obviously, it doesn't stop my creasing at, as much. But my eyes naturally crease anyway, so I can't really count it for that. But there's normally extra creasing on the eyes uh, when I use other products. But this I've actually been loving recently. Um, I also use the Illamasqua Hydra Veil Primer, although it's only a sample, I've almost finished it, like, almost finished. Literally, I've fallen in love with this since opening up my advent calendar. Um, yeah, and it's just, it, put, it literally goes on like water, it's a gel. You put it on, when you put it on your face, it literally feels like you're rubbing water on your face, and it's so hydrating. I know it's Hydra Veil, but it does what it says, it's so hydrating. And my powder, where did it go? Oh, there you go. My powder, I've been using the Essence Brighten Up powder. Love this, and look at how much pan I've hit. This is this is probably one of my favourite Brighten Up powders. So definitely repurchasing. I do want to do like a repurchasing haul. Um, haul basically repurchasing stuff that I've generally loved, that are my holy grails. I've got some bits that I've got on my list, like First Day Beauty and all that lot. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. And we're going to start off with the palette. And actually now I'm going to start off with these first actually. I don't normally, but I might start off with them. So I'm going to start off with the bronzer. This is in the shade Fawn. Yeah. <laughs> Try to find my bronze thing. There we go. This is the Spectrum B1. I don't know why you. So basically, this is a foundation brush. I don't know why I use it for contour, but I just prefer it. I don't know how this is going to go over this bump, so I am probably going to more likely look at it from this point where there's. There is still imperfections and spots, but they're not as abrupt as that. So I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. There isn't an awful lot of fallout, to be honest. I'm just going to go here and just go tap, 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 tap. Might be a bit dark for me. Just going to work it in the cheeks. And I know this is a big brush for 
um, bronzer and contour, but I don't know, I just like it with that, like that. I don't know. But no, the product itself is really nice, like, just literally need a couple of taps and you're ready to go. And I'm just going to tap, 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 and then blend it out. A light hand is needed with these because these are very pigmented, like, literally you need the lightest touch. Gorgeous, that is really nice. It's literally left a really nice glow to the face, like nothing and that. Just gonna add a bit more to the cheeks. Might be too much now. A bit more to the forehead. I like that. Does look nice. Definitely look at that, look at the sculpting on that side compared to that side. You can really see the difference. Normally with contour you can't, for me anyway, you can't always see it on my face because I just don't do it right. And you can really see the difference. Like I'm going to do the other side now, but I'm going to hope and pray it goes over this. I'm going to do it too far down. I miss that completely. I have noticed it does go over the top of like imperfections. It doesn't look totally bad there, but it does. If you've got like big spots, it does emphasise them just a tad. But for me, it's not overly a problem because it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is with that type of thing and. I am getting better at my skin care to be honest. I have lacked in a couple of days and that is what that is. Um, but I'm going to get back into my skincare routine. I've just lacked a bit. Put any more in the forehead. I feel like that's perfect. That's a perfect shade for me because I am very, very fair. So that is probably perfect for me. That's a really nice shade. So there, yeah, I might actually get another one then. That is fawn. Love that. <laughs> Not the cut that's there. Next is the blush, and I've gone for the shade peachy. More of a peachy blush. I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. I'm just gonna start from up here without my hair, preferably up here, and just tap, tap. Oh wow, that's pigmented. A bit of sweep down here, maybe a bit of colour up here. That is really nice. I'm not going to have too much of that. Just want something just to give me a bit of colour. But this, if you like peachy tones, this is a hundred percent for you. You could obviously add more if you like that brighter cheek but uh, a bit like that and it does add that really nice sheen to the face I like my blusher to be more up here and just a little bit down here just like a little bit of blush there but more of the colour up here because it helps pull my face up a bit <laughs> but yeah that's really pretty for my nose <laughs> so so far two out of three very very impressed the colours are really pigmented and they've the payoff is just really nice. I'm actually really liking his makeup today. Um, yeah, so I am going to go straight into the palette because I don't want to put the highlighter on and then get eyeshadow on it. So, it's, well, I can, at least I can correct it a little bit. But with the highlighter, I don't want to... Don't, like, don't want to go on the highlighter. Plus, I want to save what I think is probably the best till last. But we're going to try the Book of Magic and everyone's asked for blue so I'm going to probably start off with Elixir, this one here, deepen it with Trick, then maybe I'll go in with Potion and depending on what 
it looks like moonlight looks really nice why well, i'm going to swatch all them shades for you guys and then i'm going to pop it all on my lids so let's go let's put that there so i'm not going to stand Doesn't want to stand. There we go. <laughs> I'll just use that mirror actually. <laughs> Thought I could use the mirror in the palette, but <laughs> I have recently just cleaned my brushes. But yeah, they're gonna get dirty again. Right, so oh yeah, swatching the palette. So I'm gonna go with Elixir, which is that very, very light blue. Wow. I'm going to Wow, that's just the swatch one. No, I'm just gonna. It's very chalky. You know, very very chalky. But again, I don't personally believe swatches are as good. Definitely with Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay swatches aren't the best, but when they're on the eyes, they are amazing. And then I'm gonna go with Trick, which is that dark blue. There is an even darker blue called Cursed. Hmm. We'll see, we'll swatch them as well. So we've got this darker blue here. I always find Beauty Bay palettes, their mattes don't swatch great. Oh, and Cursed. Cursed is that darker. Wow. That swatch over is great, but when they're on the eyes, they blend out beautifully. That's that. So they are the matte blues that I could potentially be using today. Well, I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. Where did I put them? There we go. I need to definitely keep some somewhere close. Alright. It's not really come off, is it? <laughs> I'm going to swatch the shimmers, so I'm going to use this finger which is clean to um, swatch potion, which is that shimmery blue. Look at that. And I'm just going to pop that here. See what I mean? They're shimmers. Look at that. Their shimmers are stunning. Like they re they're really, really pigmented, and wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Right, and next is a shade called Jinx, which is this shade here. Oh, they're so creamy. It's the one thing. Wow. One thing about the Beauty Bay shimmers is that they're so creamy. That's like a holographic. I might have to use that today. The Moonlight is what I was going to use, which is that. Not that. Gold. Oh, I've got to use that holographic one in the middle. That's Jinx. So I'm going to be using, I'll show you guys, please excuse my hands, <laughs> we are going to be using Jinx, no not Jinx, Exeter, Trick, and a bit of uh, Cursed in there, and then I might use Jinx, this one here, this one, I might add a bit of that maybe, but we're going to go with this one first. So I'm just going to grab this brush here, this one I just got off eBay, um, and I'm just going to step, get a bit closer to you guys, and do this eye first. Get the camera over. And I'm going to go into that light blue shade. There's always kickback on the Beauty Bay palette, so if that's something that you guys aren't into, then you know that is a thing, but to me, it doesn't bother me. Just gonna tap, tap, tap. Wow. Tap, 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 tap that all in there. Tap that into the crease. And bring that up a bit. That is beautiful. I mean, like they swatch really badly, but when they're on the eyes, they are so nice. I'm 
and I'm just going to round it off at the top there. So I want to keep that blue in this look. I'm going to turn my phone on to silent because my phone constantly goes off when I'm filming and I can hear it in the, when I edit it. I'm just like, oh no. Right, and then curve that around there. So there we go, that's the crease and I'm looking really nice actually. That looks really nice actually. I'm then going to go in with uh, probably this brush here which is more of like an angled brush. And I'm going to go into tr Trick I think, that little bit of dark, that little middle, like the middle blue and just stamp that just in here. Just rub that into the crease, like that. Really blend them two together. And I'm just gonna wing it out a bit. quite nice together don't they? They sort of blend really really nicely. There we go. Like that I am gonna go back oh drop my brush. I am gonna go back in with that light blue shade just so I don't lose it up the top. Just to blend the outside in. I don't want to lose that blue. There we go and I'm gonna go in with on like a thinner brush with that curse that darker blue and just wing it out that way I think use it as liner I think I'm going to probably run that across the lash line at the top there just to snap that across. Like that. Not even at all. There we go. So it's got a bit of depth. And again, I'm going to go in with that trick, which is that little bit. It's still a dark blue, but it's a bit lighter and just deepen up the crease just a tad. Crease. There we go. A bit like that. And then with my finger, I'm going to go in with Jinx. On here and then just run that. I hit it like that. Look at that. Don't know how well it's showing up on the camera, but it's really pretty. I might layer that potion, that light blue over the top I think this sort of blends out in, with the, in within the look sort of ties it all together it does tie it all together really nicely 
There we go. And with my other finger, I'm going to go in with potion, do this blue here and just tap, 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 tap in the middle. Tap, tap. To give that blue a little something, something. I might actually do it on the inner portion like that and then go in with Jinx on the outer. I don't know. How does that look for you guys? Let's zoom in. Oh, not zoom in, but to me on the camera, on, the, on like the lens, it looks like just one big blue. In my mirror, you've got different blends of blue. So, yeah, if I do my um, bottom lashes, <sighs> grab me. It does look good though, I do like it. Grab another one of them lined brushes. And grab a little small one. I'm going to go in with that light blue really stamp that underneath. I am going to use that to wipe away what I've already got. And then Line that like that. Mm, I think the darker blue might be a nice, nice thing actually. Darken it up a bit. Just very blue. So yeah, this is the finished look. I am, um, <laughs> I don't know how it looks. Does it look all right to you guys? I don't know. To me, it looks really pretty. The, the shades have worked really well, to be honest. But I'm just rubbish at makeup. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take photos at the, at the end. At the end, there'll be photos of me in better lighting. Um, but yeah, again, comment down below the shades that you would like me to do. I could do a purple one because there's a really nice purple shimmer. Same with green. So yeah, I'm going to do the other eye, put some lashes on, and then I'll be back to do highlighter and then my final thoughts. Right, I've done my lashes and the other eye. So far it looks really, really good. I really like what I'm seeing. So next is highlighter. I'm going to leave my lips as is today, I think, because uh, I think I quite like the look of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to... Um, the lash just keeps coming off. There we go. Right, I'm going to use this brush here with this highlighter. So we'll see how it... Oh, there's lots to keep back. And I'm going to... Wow. Oh my goodness. Like, wow, that is pigmented. I'm so glad I saved this to it last. Best to last, 100%. And then. Oh, wow. That is blinding, literally blinding. Look at that, wow. <laughs> so yeah, my look is now done. I can take my hair out. <laughs> the 
this is the final look. What do you guys think? I, I'm really impressed with how this has turned out. I think it's turned out really, really nice. <laughs> Um, the blue definitely suits my eyes, like my eyes really light up with blue. I have no idea why. <laughs> but yeah, so far, well, I am really impressed that these, I would 100% recommend all of these. Like the blusher, the bronzer, and the blusher, bronzer, and highlighter. I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting them. They perform so beautifully on the skin, and they're so pigmented, like, wow. <laughs> and so this palette definitely would get it's so diverse you can do so many looks with it and it's just so pigmented it's just really really nice i've been loving beauty bay recently so if you guys want to see more i'm more than happy to so yeah if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to check out all my other content and comment down below the next color scheme you want me to go for and yeah, what if you'd like a full face of like a full full face of um, Beauty Bay? So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I can't believe how nice this looks. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And again, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.